even though, yeah, look at that big swath of change across the state. Still some 60s in eastern Iowa at this early hour this morning. Frontal boundary hasn't quite ushered in the cold air for those folks just yet. Middle of Iowa, though, yes, the temperatures are falling. These are actually your wind chills. We do have to talk about wind chills now. Those winds are strong. Feels like 26 at this hour in Carroll, 40 in Ames, just a couple degrees above freezing in Fort Dodge. Well, we showed you a couple minutes ago those last few showers in north central parts of the state. Those are going to die off and move to the north and east here at the next few hours. So I think by mid morning we should be pretty much rain free. Still some clouds at that point. Notice as we go towards this afternoon, skies are clearing out. Notice the wind chills you're seeing here are not going up, though. We are stuck mostly in the 30s to 40s later on today. So don't, you know, go outside this morning and say, well, at least it'll be better later on. No, it's not going to be. It's going to be chilly no matter whether the sun it comes out or not. As we head towards tonight, skies are quiet. Winds do die down a little bit, but the temperatures will take a dive down towards the freezing mark. There's going to be pretty much a widespread freeze across the state. Just enough of a wind to drop those temperatures or those wind chills into the 20s. And then our first couple of flakes start to fly as we head towards, I would say, about midday tomorrow up in northwest Iowa. This will be the best chance for accumulating snow up in that part of the state into tomorrow afternoon. The rest of us probably just increasing clouds, maybe a couple of spots of some drizzle or a brief rain shower, something like that. At worst, mixed precipitation here, I would say probably south of Highway 20. The best chance for the rest of the state to see any uh, snowfall, any flurries around, will be probably late tomorrow night and into the morning time frame of Sunday. It's still going to be chilly the rest of Sunday too. So any snow that sticks to the ground actually accumulates might be up to an inch. I would say if you head toward, up towards Algona, west towards Emmitsburg, north of Cherokee and Storm Lake, you maybe see some snow that sticks and actually accumulates up to an inch or so. The rest of us at worst a dusting, but I would guess maybe some of the model data here is going to over overdo it a little bit just because that air or that ground. It's still really warm. You got to remember we did start this week with temperatures around 80 right now. Mid 40s here in the Des Moines Metro feels like 38 though. That number won't climb very much the rest of today and the rest of the eight day forecast still looks fairly chilly as well. Fast forward past the weekend. We start next work week with morning lows Monday morning in the 20s and then we've got mostly cooler than average temperatures into the beginning of November.